Hey there, this is Andrew with ADS, and today I just wanna share with you a couple of quick tips on Twitter, and one of the most important things is your lists in Twitter. So if you've not done lists in Twitter before, it's a really, I think, a great way to categorize the people that you care the most about, the companies, the businesses, the people, the individuals, the personal branders, the influencers, all of that, that you care about on Twitter and want to make sure that you follow. You don't want to miss their tweets. You don't want to miss, and you can do notifications, of course. You can turn on notifications for people, but we're busy, we're all busy, and you might miss stuff, and you're not always looking at your phone 24 seven, contrary to what popular culture would have us believe about everyone. So, lists are so important, so critical, and especially like if you watched one of my previous videos about TweetDeck, and how to use TweetDeck for business, for Twitter. One of the things you'll notice is that you can really use lists well from Twitter into TweetDeck. It works great. So today I'm gonna to talk you through how to use lists in Twitter and then also how to translate that over to TweetDeck. So the most important thing today is how to create those lists in Twitter and how do you do that, all right? So we're gonna start that just now. So the first thing you want to do in Twitter is go to your lists. So as you can see here, this is my business channel. It's the ADS agency. You're welcome to follow me here, of course. And so I'm going to go to lists. And you can see I have several, several lists already. And because my brand is global, I have lots of countries and things in here. Um, so when I come across new tweeters and I want to add them in, I can just add them to a list that I already have. But I'm gonna walk you through how you set up a list for yourself. So again, you wanna click on this list. This is best on a desktop, okay? You can try it on mobile, but I highly recommend always doing this stuff on a laptop. So you wanna to go to lists. And then when you're on a laptop, you'll see over here on the right, there's a button for create new list. So you're gonna click on that. And then you're just gonna call it a name. So what shall we create a list about? Let's just say, um, let's do one for business quotes. Business, yeah, business motivation slash quotes. You can add a description if you want and you can make the list public or private. Very important because if you decide that you want to make, um, say a list for your competition or um, target customers, those are not things that you necessarily want public, right? So you're going to want to make sure you click private for that. So only you see that list. However, for this purpose, I'm just going to walk you through a public list, which has its advantages as well. So, uh, mainly that other people can subscribe to those lists and follow those lists if they want to. Um, so if people know about lists, that's, you're actually creating a service for them by doing this, but not a lot of people know about it. So uh, this is more so helpful for you. All right, so let's go back to, uh, we said business quotes or motivation. And I'm gonna save that list. Save it. You know what, it might not have done it because of that slash, let me see. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> so maybe don't include um, slashes or symbols or things that might be important. All right, so say I wanna find people to add to that list. Um, you can, if you already know the names of some people, you could do, you could type in their actual name, but since I'm making this up, I don't necessarily know. So I'm just gonna search business quotes. So for example, if I like this account, I can just click this button over here, this little ellipsis, vertical ellipsis button, three dots on the side, and click add or remove to lists. And then I can add them to my business motivation list. Boom, just like that. And I can keep scrolling down. This guy does business quotes. I can add him, business motivation, okay. Same thing, I can add this guy, 
This is motivation. And let's find one more. Let's do this leadership quotes. That's a good one. Kind of business related. All right, so we have those all in here. And the way you can check that, you just want to check and make sure you did it right. So I'm going to go back to my, if you click on your profile up here on the top right, you can scroll down to the lists tab from there. So I'm going to go to lists just to check. And you can see it has four members now. Business motivation, I've added four people. And if I were directly in the platform, I can see quotes, whatever, whoever the latest tweets are in that list, I can see them directly in this feed. And I can also just view it by members. So if I just want to view the members in this list, I can do business quotes and it can see, it'll show me all the people. As you can see, I didn't even actually have to follow these people if I wanted to follow them, which I don't have no problem following these people. I can, and if I didn't want to, I could simply add them to this list without ever having to follow them, which is nice. Especially, remember that for private lists like competitors and that kind of thing, okay? All right, so now, as I have likely shown you before, if you go to TweetDeck, you can add a column and then click list. And now I can go through, I could search for my list if I have a really long list thing, or I can just go through and find it. Business, oh. So if you ever run into this problem in TweetDeck where you can't find your list, I highly recommend just refreshing TweetDeck and then seeing if it pops up. Sometimes it just needs a little refresh. Okay, so. Again, we want to go to this plus sign to add a column, then go to list. There it is, business motivation. 90% of the issues in TweetDeck are, are solved by just refreshing the browser. So I click that and then I click add column. And now anytime I want to see anybody's tweets in this list, I can just go here. So I usually don't use, um, I'm normally on my personal account with this, so I, there's normally like tons and tons of columns to the right over here. Um, again, you can easily add stuff. Let me show you, for example, um, you can add a search. Say I'm interested in architecture, and every time someone hashtags architecture on Twitter, I wanna see that. I can now easily see that hashtag anytime I want. Um, and you can easily create a search like that that you can view in TweetDeck at any time. So that is the basics of how you create lists in Twitter. Um, as you can see, I'll go back to my list in general here so you can see here um, what I have. I have lots of these YouTubers I like, mergers and acquisitions, um, all these various countries, entrepreneur resources, you know, so there's lots of ways. I love lists because it's a wonderful way to easily organize and simplify Twitter. Because again, if you go just to, you know, the basic Twitter stream, if you're following over 2000 people, this becomes unmanageable. I mean, you don't want to just scroll through here because you're not going to see the stuff you want to see. Um, and that's why lists are so important. Instead of, instead of doing this and just scrolling, you can instead go to your lists and see what you want at any time. YouTubers we like, there's Roberto Blake, Sean Kennel. There's like seven people on here that I love to follow. Nick Nimmin and all that. So, all right, that is it for... Twitter list and how you follow people through Twitter list and keep up with them. All right, and that is it for this little segment today. Hope you learned something about how to do Twitter lists. Hope that made sense to you. If you have any questions at all, be sure to let me know in the comments below. You can use that discussion area below. And also, if you like this video, it was helpful to you, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a like. 
just hit the like button down there for this video and also if you're new here or if you just haven't taken the time to subscribe yet but you like this content take a moment and subscribe to this channel that's also below you can find that information below so just click subscribe and just after that you'll see a little message pop up that says to click the bell you want to click the bell because that makes sure that you get notifications about this channel so anytime we upload a video you can make sure you get a notification about it and you can see if it's something that you're interested in all right that's it for today people thanks so much hope you have a great one and see you next time Cheers.